Hi, I'm Graham Martin. I'm the recruitment guy from orchardjobs.com. Nice to see you again. If you're watching this, this should be for you if you're interested in employing staff. So you're either a business owner or a manager looking to hire staff. This is number five in a series of video blogs for people that want to recruit staff. So today we're going to ta start talking about where you'd actually go to hire staff. Now, for many people, the immediate response is, let's go and get an advert in the local newspaper or maybe a specialist magazine or a trade press. So I want to cover those particular issues. The pros, certainly there are a lot of advantages from advertising in papers, particularly the local press. Certainly it's quick, it can be very, very easy to get an advert in the local paper, and oftentimes it can be quite good value for money, especially if you find the right person. The challenges though, I think are worth considering. And when you look at advertising in the local press, and even in the nationwide press these days, they're reducing dramatically. And the reason for that is because Quite frankly, there are probably better methods of advertising to get people to respond to you for your particular vacancy. But let's look at some of the downsides. Firstly, you've got to write the advert. Now, I know that if you're going to be putting an advert on the, on the internet, you probably have to write that as well, or maybe if you use an agency, they could do it for you. But you're actually going to have to engage with the newspaper. You have to send the copy off, they're going to get it back to you, you've got to proof it. You might need to get your, your logo or some kind of brand image involved. Secondly, you might not find that you actually get the right deadline. Obviously with the internet, you can get it in straight away, probably that day. But when you're looking at a, a weekly paper or maybe something which is twice a month or monthly, you have to wait for that deadline. So that can create some frustrations. And also, you're gonna to have to deal with the response yourself. Certainly you're gonna put an email address in for people to reply to you, or maybe a URL on your website, but maybe a telephone number, and that can take some time. Plus, you've got to wait for the response, you've got to deal with the responses individually. The other thing that I, I personally I don't like about advertising, from an employer's point of view, is the fact that there's an element of, should we say, confidentiality, which is completely destroyed. If you're an employer and you're looking to hire somebody, maybe without your other members of staff knowing, or perhaps your competition knowing, then certainly advertising in the local press is not the route to go, because as soon as you've done that, everybody gets to know. Now you could try using a PO box number, but in my experience, they very rarely work. So if people are gonna be advertising the papers and they expect response, they've gotta say a little bit more about who they are and what they do. And of course, when you're looking at advertising, it can be quite expensive. It's very expensive if you get very few responses, and it's incredibly expensive if nobody replies at all that you hire. But of course, to get a good advert in the paper, you've got to be thinking about putting some effort into crafting it and getting the right message across, and explaining who you are, what you do, and, and really trying to get people's attention. So much easier on the internet, and of course, if you're using a recruitment agency, they'll do it for you. I'm biased, I appreciate, but really, advertising in the local press can be fraught with problems. Now, the other thing you've got to remember is that the people that are actually responding to your advert, you're not really able to screen them. If you're looking to recruit and you're looking to um, consider how you would use the internet to work for you, you've got that much more distance. You can look through somebody's CV and then you can decide yourself. When you're advertising in the on, on the local newspaper, well then of course you're going to re remember everyone's going to be applying to you, they're going to have access to you, and you may have people that actually apply for the jobs that really you don't want to be involved in. So I would suggest that you think a couple of times about before advertising in the local paper. When it comes to specialist, or maybe trade press, slightly different story. The, the challenges with that are, of course, that often trade magazines appear once a month, or maybe once a quarter, and likewise, specialist press as well. Certainly, it can be great value for money, and it can be great for building brand awareness, but again, do you really want your competition to know exactly what you're doing, or again, maybe your staff? It can be a great way of getting access to people that are particularly in your sector, but you're probably gonna to have to wait for some period of time. Now there's a lot more that I can tell you about this. So what I would suggest you do is you go to the recruitmentguide.com website and download the free PDF and it's gonna give you a lot more information. On the next video, we're gonna be talking about how to actually put together a really good advert, some of the hot tips that can help you get a better response. So that's all from now. Graham Martin, the recruitment guy from orchardjobs.com, saying goodbye.